How much more can I take? I need rest, I need God, I need space Another dead in the street, need a break A tear rolled down my eye from the pain From the pain Cause we been fighting demons They don't understand, no They don't need us Bodies on the damn floor Leave us bleeding Damn, I hate to see you go For no reason It's another casket close What's going on YouTube? Back at it with another review. I have another Hellcat theft report. This is ridiculous. Uh, this was rapper's Pee Wee Longway got his Hellcat Durango stolen. Now, he did not get robbed for it, but someone did steal it from somewhere. Let's hop right into this. Once again, this is ridiculous. It sucks. You know, a lot of people work hard for their vehicles and to just have people that just come and steal them just because they're too lazy to work themselves is very frustrating. It's so irritating. And Pee Wee Longway even said, like, you know, <laughs> obviously he wants to get it back. But you know how these people are. They're going to try to take it to a chop shop real quick or, 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 you know, get rid of it real fast. Because when you take a person's car who is connected, you know, kind of to the streets in a way and, and it has that pool and has that bag to really get down to the nitty gritty and see who stole their vehicle it's a whole different ball game from just for example if someone came and stole my hellcat versus if someone comes and steal his you know and some people some people are even going to want to get his car back just to you know to to show the fact you know that they're doing a nice kind gesture for him you know what I mean? Like, it, it, people going to do that just off the rip just because they mess with him. So, whoever stole that car is a complete idiot. <laughs> they should have did their homework first and, and seen whose car they were actually stealing. But, this day and age, owning a Mopar, you have to have a few lines of security on your car. The basic security system isn't worth a crap. You know, the 22s... The 2022s and up have an updated security system that's supposed to be better, but that still doesn't keep them from taking the car. So if all you have is your, your security system and that's it, psh, boy, you better go get at least an air tag and a few more things. They have wheel locks on there that you need so people can't take your wheels off. It's a whole list of things. Also, there is a risk if someone steals your vehicle and they don't have experience driving these high horsepower vehicles, they can total it out and completely destroy it. Just your hard earned money going down the drain right there. Just from some idiot coming steal your car who's never drove in anything higher than 400 horsepower. Now he gets behind the horse, the wheel of something with 797, 707, 807, and, and wrecks it. <laughs> and could potentially really hurt itself. You can kill yourself in one of these cars if you're not careful. So protect your investment. Get multiple lines of security on these vehicles. If you have an older vehicle, see about going to Dodge and getting an update. They do give updates on the older vehicles, and it might be a fee now, but they used to be free of charge from Dodge. So just contact your local dealer or any... Dodge dealer in your surrounding areas and they might be able to enhance your security but that's not it that's not where it stops you need to have a few lines of security so someone can't hop in create a fake key or they can't put a put your car straight in neutral you know so that's why you need the blocker for the neutral the strap to block that off because someone doesn't even need to start your car to put it in neutral that sucks it, it, it makes it to the point is Dodge, is it even worth owning a Mopar now? Because one, you have to worry about being robbed. You have to worry about someone stealing it. You have to worry about being shot or having to kill someone over this vehicle. It, it, it's, it makes it really not worth it. And just, and just thinking about it, someone tried to steal my car here recently, busted out my windows, got inside but they couldn't steal it because I had some in there and I can't say what I had, 
because I, you know, you never know who's watching. But yes, I have security in my car, extra security. I protect my investment. And be careful. Always watch your surroundings. Never let your guard down. Never think that nothing won't happen to you. No matter how tough, big, and bad you are, it can happen to you. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.